Oh, crap spanners. Oops. Today I'm going to try and fit this. It's a gorilla cage, but in order to be able to do that, I need gorilla clips. Ooh, gorilla clips. Gorillas would call them human clips. These sit on the fork because I don't have any fork mounts here. So I'm going to put these onto here and then I'm going to be able to put this onto the clips and ultimately inside this will be a dry bag. And ultimately, ultimately, inside the dry bag will be whatever the hell I want it to be. All right, that's the Gorilla Clip. It's got three mounts. I think you can use the mounts for any kind of cage. In order to fit it on properly, you need to slide top one on sideways and then bring the other two in line. Stop that in, push it up. Why did I want to use one of these? Well, I like a modular approach to luggage. So I've got panniers, but I don't necessarily always want to take a pannier. Might just not have enough room in my tail fin bag. Um, and maybe I just need one more thing to carry. I don't want to have to take an entire pannier that weighs 600 grams. And I've got loads of space because inevitably then I'll start filling that up. Um, so I would like just to be able to put something somewhere um, that doesn't weigh very much, you know, and this clip, you can put 1.6 kilos on it. Uh, you can pop anything in a dry bag so I can have my tarp in here. It doesn't really matter if it gets wet anyway, the spray from the, from the wheel or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so I thought this was a really good idea. Here are the instructions. Three cleats for gorilla cage, two cleats for monkey. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. I don't even know what any of this means really. So I guess I have to guess. Right, so I've got four cable ties, five, five cable ties, you know, four plus one. And then I've got these rubber things, four of those and two sticky pads. Guess I should clean the fork. These are actually, as you can see, sort of for round forks. I'm hoping this is gonna still fit. Universal contact shape fits most forks. I think they're gonna to have to go on that little ridge here. Seems like a good place. Got my gear cable here, so I hope that that's going to be uh, out of the way. Right, peeled that off. I'm gonna place this into this little ridge here. I hope that that's where it's supposed to go. And I'm going to do the same with the other one. Okay, there we have it. So, where were we going to put this? It was here, wasn't it? I want to probably make sure that the writing, there's some writing on here, is the right way up. I don't know if that makes any difference, but it'll look better, right? I'm going to peel off the back of these. And then I'm going to try and line that up. Okay, then we need to put the cable ties through. I guess that should be sitting in there. Oh, crap spanners. Oops, I guess that's why they give you five cable ties. There we go. So you got these little rubber things that you're supposed to put on there so you don't damage your fork, you know, like, with a pair of scissors or something. Do not make mistakes like I do. Okay, let's start again. Right, we need to put the, ta the table ties in. And to protect the fork, we have these little rubber things. Let go. And look at that. Slides in perfectly there, look. Oh, that's better. My, my fork is all protected now. That feels so much better. 
Okay. Then we do the same for the others. Right, so I've got two pieces now for this bit because I've got the gear cable here that is going to get in the way. And then the bottom one, I guess we might need to, yeah, cut this one down a little bit as well. Okay, well that's certainly not going anywhere. So let's chop these off. My really blunt scissors. And there we have it, look how simple that was. Only 25 minutes. Do you think there's a benefit to having this as opposed to fork mounts? Do you think it's worth the extra money to get a new fork with the mounts or do you think this is sufficient? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Maybe you've got one? you like it or you don't like it let me know would you get one also let me know in the comments below there we go that's pretty straightforward actually once you know how to do it it's pretty straightforward so i'm going to summarize with with the other one that I'm going to do. I'm not going to bore you to death with it. In the box, you get a Gorilla Clip and you get a bag of goodies. You've got some cable ties times five because you put the first one on wrong. You've got two sticky pads and four rubber tracks like this one. So you measure it where you want to put the cage. So hold it against the fork where you want it. Make sure that there's nothing on the other side that's going to you know, stop you from putting the cable, the cable ties round like this gear cable here. I've got the text the right way up just for aesthetic reasons I guess. Then you peel the brown sticky tape off the back of this, put that into the groove here like so, leave the yellow back on and you've got two so you put one here and one here. So once you've got this uh, on there and you're ready to stick it on then you obviously take off the yellow piece. Then you stick the clip to wherever you want it to go and it should stay nicely there. Then you get cable ties, pop those in. You can see that there's like a, the, the openings for the cable ties. One is slightly wider on one side. So that's where the head of the cable tie is going to sit. So you pop that through and then as I've just demonstrated, the best thing to do is to then place the rubber strip with the track on the outside onto the frame, sorry, onto the fork, then you place the cable tie over the top. Um, you might need to cut this down to size because it's too big for the bottom bit. And there we have it. All right, I'm gonna do the other side. I appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down and let me know what I could do better in future. I'm going to be upgrading quite a few more bits and bobs on my bike. So if you want to join me for when I get that done, um, then please subscribe to the channel. Give the little bell a nod as well so that you get notified of all the new content. And uh, yes, have a lovely day. I'm going to go and test this out.